Greetings, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Metal Command Podcast. Tony here with you, and today I am wearing a Forbidden shirt. That's right, Forbidden. A killer band from the Bay Area thrash scene that so most people seem to have forgotten. And I've never forgot them because the Omega Wave, which is where this shirt is from, in my opinion to date, is one is probably my favorite Forbidden album. You know, I love the songs. The production sounds amazing. And, of course, all the musicians on the album sound great. And it, it's like, you know, I liked, I think Twisted in the Forum was probably my favorite album by them before. But when this came out, this was a big album for me. And a lot of other thrash metal bands from the Bay Area scene were putting out some great stuff. You had Testament was putting out great stuff. Death Angel was really starting to put out some great stuff. Exodus had come back putting out some great stuff. Heathen was putting out some awesome stuff. So, you know, all of these bands that I loved growing up were back and putting out some pretty awesome records. And then Forbidden, of course, comes out with the Omega Wave. And it was like this huge explosion, like resurgence of Bay Area thrash bands putting out amazing and qual amazing quality albums. And, and then, of course, you know, something happened. They sort of just, you know, Forbidden sort of just disappeared. They just kind of like, like you didn't hear much from them after that. And I remember, I'm going to be honest with you. I remember on my radio show, and I clearly remember when the Omega Wave came out. If Nuclear Blast, I believe, was the one that put it out. I believe they were the label that put it out. I don't remember now. But Nuclear Blast had put this album out and people were they were really promoting it at least from my end they were really promoting this thing and what was crazy is i played that album a lot in fact for about an eight or nine year stretch it was getting regular airplay you know at least a few times a month which is you know which is something that's not common but i liked the album so much i just kept going back to it you know i i I still go back to it. In fact, I still go back and listen to it every now and then. You know, despite the amount of of stuff that I get sent to me, um, um, the amount of new music sent to me, and say the amount of stuff I go back to, typically like in the winter time, before a lot of releases come out, I'll kind of go back to the back catalog of everything and, and and listen to like Old Maiden or Priest or Halloween or whatever. But Omega Wave is definitely an album that I still go back to and I still love quite a bit. So now they have a new singer. Now the band is back. They have a new singer. And he's been on my radio show once, and he just actually came on this show not long ago to promote his solo album, and that would be Norm Skinner. And first of all, I didn't expect Forbidden to ever come back, but when I heard that they were back and I heard that Norm was singing, it just I was really excited because I think Norm Skinner fits this band perfectly. When you look back at their past, at, at the at, you know, Forbidden's past, basically, uh, Russ Anderson, their singer, not only did he could he sing in a harsher, more thrashier style, but he could also sing in a melodic style, right? I mean, he could sing more melodic and he could sing some pretty harsh thrash. He can actually do some pretty hard harsh thrash vocals. And Norm Skinner's a guy that does that. If you hear his latest solo album, if you listen to the band Nivian, and of course, the first time I heard of Norm is when he basically started singing with Magica. He's definitely got the resume that, you know, first of all, to be in a band like Forbidden. And on top of that, his vocal ability fits the band and their style quite well. In fact, it's almost kind of scary how well he does fit with these guys. Because if you're not going to have Russ Anderson in the band, who is their singer, Norm's, Norm's it. I mean, I remember the first Imagica album I heard Norm sing on, and I had no clue who this guy was, right? Back then, I didn't have any idea who he was. But I did like his voice in Imagica, and then Nivian came out, and he was singing more thrash and a little bit more melodic. Uh, he And then, he, of course, he has a new solo album, uh, that, that is very, very good. And I'll put links to a lot of this in the show notes. But I have to say, I think this is a great move by Forbidden. I think that this is a band to look out for. I hope they record an album. I believe they're going to. 
could be wrong, but I hope they record an album. And I just have this feeling they are going to put out a pretty amazing record. I really, really have this gut feeling and I have an instinct, you know, because they've been gone so long and because they have a new vocalist, which kind of sort of injects some new life into a band at time, you know, new members can inject some new life into a band. They really can. Um, and if you can't get Russ Anderson back, the norm is definitely the guy that fits this band the best. I, in fact, I'm trying to think, I can't even think of any singers that really sound that I could think of that would fit forbidden better than norm, which is why I'm so excited for this. So be on the lookout folks. If you've never heard Forbidden or you've never heard the Omega Wave because there's some younger people out there, I'll have some links in the show notes to uh, some of some of that stuff as well off of this album, the Omega Wave. Still, This is actually also, I, I hate this, you know, I don't hate to say this, but um, I'm going to kind of sidetrack a little bit and say this is one of my favorite heavy metal shirts that I own. So uh, it's definitely really cool. When I go to shows, like if I wear this to a metal show, people see this and people ask me about it and comment at it all the time because you just don't see shows i'm sorry you don't see shirts forbidden shirts at concerts much since they haven't really been around for quite a long time so anyhow i'm really excited i cannot wait and the next forbidden album in my opinion is going to be phenomenal so with that being said thanks for watching if you like what you see in here on this channel of course hit the subscribe button and then hit that little bell to be notified anytime I do post a video. Thanks for watching.